everyone and welcome back to Miranda's Laboratory. It's spring here at Fernbank, so lots of our plants have big, beautiful flowers blooming right now. Flowers come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Here are just a few examples. Flowers are very important to plants because they help make seeds, which turn into new plants. Today we're going to be dissecting this azalea flower. We're going to be looking at all the different parts and learning what they do. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the anatomy of our flower. First, we see our nice pink petals. Plants use petals in their flowers to attract pollinators like bees, butterflies, and sometimes even bats. So we're going to go ahead and cut those away. Very carefully peel these off to reveal the rest of our plant. There go our petals right there. Now if we look closely, we can see that we've got these little guys right here. These are called stamen. These are the male parts of the plant and these are what produce pollen. So we're gonna go ahead and remove each of those. Then what's left here in the middle is called our carpal, and that's the female part of the flower. So here the pollen gets delivered, it goes down to the very bottom, and that's where the seeds are produced. In the meantime, we're going to cut away these leaves. These are called the sepal leaves, and they protect the flower before it blooms. So we're going to go ahead and remove those. To get a better look at our carpal. There we go. So we can see down there at the bottom, this is where the seed would form eventually if the flower was pollinated. So we'll go ahead and remove that. We do still have a little bit of our petals there and our sepal leaves, but that leaves our stem and this is what attaches the flower to the plant. All right, thanks guys so much for learning with me today. I hope you enjoyed learning about flowers.